Ireland mentor Joe Schmidt knows at any rate 20 of the names he'll be bringing to Japan for the World Cup however concedes that finishing his 31-man squad for the competition is among his greatest regularly challenges, having cut Rory Scannell and Alton Delane a week ago. Another three could go before the side travel to Portugal on Wednesday for seven days in length warm climate, preparing camp. I do not fancy it any day to be honest, he said of naming his squad in the wake of watching his side beat Italy 29-10 in Saturday's initially warm-up apparatus. Probably four years ago it was one of the most difficult tasks I have ever really had to put my mind to because I know the team and how much the players want to get to a World Cup. It is for Ireland, probably more than some other teams, where we need to perform. This year from the very start of the year that has had to be the target. It means the players want to be at the top tier tournament in the world. I think I could probably name certainly 20, maybe a few more, but the coaching staff will meet after having had a look at the game and have a chat about probably who we think is putting their foot forward in the best possible manner and also look at guys who we may be chasing their tail and need to demonstrate a little bit more. If we think we do need to trim the squad a little bit, as harsh as it will be, then collectively we will make those decisions. Individually I will hopefully have time to meet with players. If not then it is that phone call they do not want to receive and I do not want to really deliver. Andrew Conway, Jean Klain and Chris Farrell were among the players who squeezed their case on Saturday in a generally uneventful game yet the fundamental argument in the fallout was shockingly wounds. Burglarized Herring, Early, and Devon Toner, late both stumbled off and were seen strolling openly after the game. Game. However Joey Carberry's lower leg required the mechanized stretcher and an output. Despite the fact that there was a liberating sensation that the, the Munster No. 10 had not continued a crack, a thick Carberry is vital to Schmidt's arrangements. As both back up to beginning number 10 Johnny Sexton and a full-back alternative in a board that will probably observe Rob Kearney as the main perceived player in that position. Schmidt said a short time later that Sexton could have played in spite of the thumb issue that irritated him all through pre-season and that the 2018 World Player of the Year would almost certainly begin against England in Twickenham in a little under about 14 days. You always worry about injuries in these games, full stop, across the board, Schmidt said. It's so important to have a depth in your squad going to a World Cup. That's been a bit of a four-year project for us and it's certainly been a priority in this 12-month window where we've tried to aim up at the World Cup. Joey has not had the best of luck and sometimes you can have that run. Teague Furlong had that run for a couple of years where he didn't play a lot and then he got into a rhythm and he's fine. So, hopefully Joey will get through this ankle injury. Hopefully it's not too bad and it might only be that he's off his feet for a week and he's back training and potentially still in the mix for England. If not for England, the Welsh game after that. Dave Kearney addressed Carberry after the game. It's never nice to see lads going off, the cart coming on especially. Obviously where we are at this stage pre-World Cup, he said. But chatting to Joey after, he says he isn't feeling too bad. He didn't hear any pops, which is good. The team for that England game will be named next Wednesday as the squad leave Portugal and Schmidt conceded that there will be countless changes from the side that beat Italy with the couple of shawnesses to travel may be kept down for the last warm-ups against Wales. There will definitely be a number of changes, he said. I'm not sure there will be 15 but I'd say 10 will be a good starting point and it could be more. It will depend a little bit on how guys come through this and potentially what guys we want to see more of. If we've already made our decision on someone they might just go Wales, Wales and in, but you'll certainly see a number of changes.